much. That's, uh, that's very kind of you. Right back at you. And um, uh, man, I was going to do that, and then I realized I was out of time. That's a shame, because <laughs> that seemed like good exercise, which, which is, uh, it was my idea to do that, because I thought maybe I'm going to incorporate working out into to doing uh, this show every day, because it's so hard. I don't get to exercise anymore. I, I've, I've talked about this, because working every single day I just don't have the time to exercise. How many people are, are like me, hosting a talk show and having a... <laughs> um, it's just so hard when you're at work every day to, to find time. And then you see on the news all the time, they're constantly reminding us we're more overweight now than we've ever been before. And, uh, and I guess it's true. I mean, because you look back and there were no fat cavemen. They, they weren't uh, <laughs> as overweight back then because they kept in shape uh, by running away from uh, woolly mammoths. And, uh, <laughs> because that's their cardio. They didn't need a gym back there. Back in the old, uh, old days, uh, they, they'd have to walk. Can you imagine how far away a gym was? Because they didn't have the mini malls. <laughs> a gym would have been maybe 30, 35 miles away. And on the way to the gym, they probably had to fight off you know, pterodactyls and bears and things like that. <laughs> they wouldn't even get to the gym. They don't need the cardio. They could just go to the juice bar and watch people play racquetball. <laughs> you know? We need to exercise more. I'll tell you that. We, we're too sedentary. That's, that's what's happening. We're, we're too lazy with this modern convenience. We don't have to, to, to do anything anymore. And, and you may say to me, but Ellen, I'm so busy at work all day, I can't exercise. Ah, contraire. So, because um, <laughs> I've thought of some ways to work in exercise to your everyday life. Because uh, I'm the same as you. I want to work out, but yet I don't have the time. For instance, now. I'm chatting, and I'm using, I, I use my hands a lot. I'm aware of that. And, uh, but this is not really exercise. This is mainly just moving this. It's not, it's not helping with my um, trapeze, my trestle, uh, with my tri-tip. And uh, so, uh, and the tri-tip, you lose that. As you get older, that gets to be, you know, that's what, er what everyone's worried about, the tri-tip. So I feel like... If you move, because that we never, as a kid, you're swinging around, you're spinning, you use your arms, and everything stays firm. So if we were talking, if we were, the gestures were larger, <laughs> like this, it, for whatever we're saying, and, you know, for instance, swimming is probably the best exercise. And <laughs> when you're talking to somebody, and you could do that motion and still talk to them. And the same thing on the other side. If the, so that is the reaching motion that works that. Also, I realize that people don't walk as much as they used to because uh, people don't take the stairs. There's elevators now. Take the stairs. Whenever you get a chance, instead of an elevator, take the stairs. And if you're at work and if you don't have stairs, pretend that there are stairs. <laughs> and it's also very entertaining for people behind your cubicle. You go, I have to go downstairs now. <laughs> and then, oh, maybe I'll come back upstairs. Like that, you know, good for the legs. And also, um, if you're walking, let's say, if you're just walking to the copy machine and it's not that far away, make it an exercise. Pretend, and it's fun too, it's games. Pretend like you're walking through quicksand where you can't get stuck <laughs> and you have to, I have to go to the copy machine now. <laughs> like that. Desk exercises also. You know, that, that you're sitting at a desk all day long answering the phone. Let's say that's your job, you're answering the phone. A lot of people are wearing these, uh, these things on there. They don't even have to have that motion anymore of that, you know? <laughs> Go get yourself one of these old-timey phones. They were heavy back then, huge, humongous things, and, and, uh, and sit. And when you go to reach it and you do a curl, it's good for your, uh, <laughs> it's for the bifocals. And so you take it <laughs> and say, hold, please. Just a minute, be right with you. Hello. And then the next time the phone rings, alternate. Hello, just a minute. Hold on. Like that. Now, for the largest muscle of the body, the leg, that is actually, <laughs> once you work the largest muscle, the leg, uh, you're in shape everywhere. That's, you talk to any trainer. Don't. You don't need to. But uh, that, that will uh, get you. So if you get rid of the chair, if you're behind a desk all day, don't just move the chair aside. Even just build up to it, even for 15 minutes at a time. You, don't, you just mime like you're sitting. You don't need to sit in the chair at all. Works the legs. Just sit for a little while like that. 
on the desk, doing the curls like that, <laughs> all you do, and then again like that, and then switch legs every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> works is the glucose maximonius. <laughs> Another thing you want to do also is push, push your chair away further from the desk so that you have to reach for the computer or the typewriter. So this is a good stretch for the oblongs. What you'll do is... <laughs> Also good for cardio. Just ask your boss to unexpectedly fire you. Just to, oh, okay. You know? Get the heart rate up. So you can do this three times a week, and that's your cardio just taken care of right there. And oh, by the way, uh, you, as, as with any exercise program, consult with your doctor if, and find out if these exercises are right for you. Finally. This, and I was so excited when I came up with this, um, there's a lot of cattiness in all offices. There's always someone who doesn't like someone and people are talking behind their backs and gossip and all that. Don't talk behind people's backs. Challenge them to a wrestle. <laughs> During your lunch break or coffee break or whatever, instead of going outside and having a cigarette, you get on the ground, you wrestle around <laughs> with Sally Friedman or whoever it is, you know, and, and you'll gain respect and uh, it establishes dominance and tones the abs. <laughs> hey, Tony, what's going on with your, your exercise? Are you keeping up with the routine? Um, I, I just got back to it recently. Yeah? Yeah, the sit-ups and the, did those this morning, actually. Yeah, how many? My, my regular amount of 75. Uh-huh. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But I just got it. I got exhausted just watching you do all those moves. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, the, oh, I'll, I'll be sorry tomorrow. Oh gosh. <laughs> I just felt like, whoa, that yeah. was a lot of workouts. Yeah. No, I, I really don't have time anymore. I, it's, it's horrible. And every time I, I start, I get going, and then I really get into it, and then something happens, like. Yeah. to stop me to yeah. you break the routine and it's so yeah. hard to get back on the wagon once you've broken the routine it's hard but really seriously all those things i was joking around but there are things you can do i you know you read the magazines things that, for instance right now while i'm talking to you i'm clenching my butts <laughs> one butt is uh... <laughs> oh. I'll stop clenching when I get down to one butt uh... <laughs> but they say you squeeze your little uh, buttocks <laughs> you can hardly tell can you tell that I am when, when, when your I guess when your when your face goes red what? I guess when, <laughs> when your face goes uh, red I yeah. guess we know <laughs> Yeah. Do people really do that? I read that in magazines where you're supposed to squeeze your buttocks in. It, it, and I read it somewhere as well for your prostate apparently is supposed to be really good. <laughs> Seriously, if, for prostate now cancer. Now you've gone too far. We were, having, <laughs> we were having a pleasant conversation. <laughs> but seriously, right now, everybody try squeezing your buttocks in just quickly. <laughs> You could have, you know those old exercise belts that shake you? <laughs> it would just look like you're dancing constantly. You'd be back there. It's kind of the ones that vibrate yeah. at a fast pace. Yeah, that was actually an exercise for some, some time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did that really do it? It just shook the fat off of you. <laughs> Is that what, I, that, I never worked out what those were for. No. Hi, Dwayne. Hi. How, how's it going? Mm. Everything's great. Yeah. Great. yeah. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. I'm, I'm uh, catching my breath. <laughs> now, seriously. You have a firm handshake, by the way. I That's didn't shake firm. your hand. Yeah. 
I kissed you. I didn't shake your hand. Oh, that's true. It, that's, that's how powerful the kiss is. It felt like a handshake. Um, <laughs> Now, so people must have, do you work out or, or still, do you have to, or it's all mm -hmm. set now? You don't have to do a thing. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I still try and work out. Still yeah. try and work out every day. And yeah. like, what, what, is, what do you do? What's your routine? Um, do you work out every day, you said? I try to, yeah. I try How to. How do you have time for well, that? I just, I try, usually sacrificing about an hour of sleep. If I could just get in and just, you know, it's my way of getting away from the craziness. And, yeah. And I could just get in the gym and just train by myself and. Me too, me. but I, I don't want to sacrifice that hour of sleep. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> I like sleeping. It's really great. Sleep is good. Yeah, I like sleep too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so what do you do? What is your, what's the, the um, big thing? Do you do a lot of cardio or a lot of... The funny thing is that I get a lot of people ask me, you know, what, what are your tips? And oddly enough, like I get more women ask me than men. Mm -hmm. You know, what can we do? And, you know, well, this, about, is the, about... this is the body we're really looking for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> One guy, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Ow! <laughs> do you squeeze your buttocks together? Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure you have yeah. to. You yeah, know? you do have and to. And typically, then it, it, it's accompanied with this funny look on my face. And uh -huh. people, you know, it's like... What is it? Yeah. Right. That's really sexy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. Uh, and it, yeah. <laughs> so, um... So what do you do? Well, what, teach me something that you do that, that's, uh, that you think is a, a good tip for somebody. Well, here's the thing. You know, I get a lot of women ask me, well, you know, what can I do, for, for example, you know, about the, the Miss America, you know, little wave yeah. down there, the, the tri-tip, as right. you said. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and about their booty, too. Well, mm -hmm. I want to shape up my booty and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then you, you go into the process of, well, you know, you, you should eat right, then you should train right, and balance diet and things like that. Then I finally say, you know what, life is too short. If you think that you have a nice booty, and you got a nice booty. Oh, really? Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm done working out. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> it's all good. I got a nice booty then. That's um, it. <laughs> all right, and I have this little picture here of, uh, why is it so tiny? I should have a big old, this is your wife and your daughter. No, I'm sorry. I wish I could and, have bought look, you a bigger one. And look at that. What's your daughter's name? Simone. Simone. She's how old? She's two and a half. Adorable. Yeah, And she's what beautiful. I love is you, your wife, you married your, your college sweetheart, right? I did. That's really great. Yeah, I love sure. things like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, now, absolutely. So you have all that history. She's been with you for the whole long haul and... Uh... A whole long haul. Um, and ever since day one, from my very first... I, I knew I had something special in her when we first went out and I took her on our first date. And back in college, University of Miami, 10 years ago, I had no money. I was really, really broke. So I probably had about $50. And I took her to this nice Chinese restaurant. So, uh, you know, and I'm like, oh, wow. So um, uh, immediately when you don't have any money, you, your eyes go to the right column. Right. Like you don't pay attention to what this like, okay, I can afford that. So I said, Oh wow, do you want to uh, do you want to share? And she's like, No, 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 I'll have my own appetizer and I'm really hungry and then I'll have this and I'll have that. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so I wound up not eating at all. And uh, yeah, I know. It's okay. <laughs> but it was uh, no, it was, it was, it was so, cool. She gave me some loving that night though. Yeah. It's going good. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Is that what's really special to me is that she ate in front of you and you didn't eat because because most women would be too intimidated they, they eat one bite and push it away but instead she eats an entire meal and doesn't care that you're not eating no well she said are you sure you're not hungry and I, well I kind of nibbled off hers uh -huh. um, and uh, I was like no no, no I've already eaten it's cool uh -huh. like, God <laughs> <I'm> broke uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well that's great and so you, you married her how long have you been mm -hmm. married um, seven years Oh, that's great. Yeah, now, that's great. Thank that's, you. And, and in Walking Tall, you have your first love scene in a movie. I do, yes. Which is, what was that like for her? Uh, yeah. I don't care what it was like for you. Because <laughs> You're right. What was yeah, it like it for her? Uh, well, the funny thing was is, is I wanted to, after I saw it, I was like, wow, this, it's pretty sexy and steamy. I'm like, okay, well, I got I to gotta show, A, I got to show her. Because I don't want to, I'm not trying to go to the premiere where there's like a thousand people and then she like whacks me or something like that. So, and it's, it's really, we got the simple process and we just sit there and we watch it. And she's friends, by the way, with all the female 
uh, my past female co-stars, and she watches it, and during the love scene, she's just watching it, watching it, watching it, okay. And we screened it for about, for all the family and friends down in Florida. She's watching it. As soon as it was done, pow, right in the back of the head. <laughs> and by the way, I just can't take it, and I just continue to watch, just like that, and then that's a process. And that's she just great. watches it, and that's it. All good. That's great. Yeah. Good, good for her, and good for you. Yeah, good, <laughs> really good for me. Yeah. All right, we, uh, we have to take a break. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's a clip from Walking Tall, mm -hmm. and, uh, and your character takes a, a, an interesting stance against crime in a small town. Uh, it does it. It's inspired by a true story, so we did an adaptation of that. And uh, really, really excited to introduce Walking Tall to a whole new generation, what it means to walk mm -hmm. tall and, and, uh, and to stand up and fight for what you believe in. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, there's a great scene where he has a shotgun, he puts the shotgun down, and he picks up the first weapon of choice, which is a 4x4, four four, and he hands out these blue collar ass whoopings to all the bad guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very important. That's why, don't you think my idea for wrestling is good in the office? Just to, because it's, it's again, you know, and everybody looks good in that all-in-one suit. You put the, uh, the all-in-one leotard on. <laughs> what would the guys wear? Yeah. All, the all-in-one leotard? Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Everybody would wear that. <laughs> but I, I, I agree, it's, it's better than, uh, than, than guns, you know? Well, they're right. good, yeah, absolutely. But and then when you suggest it, it's like uh, what you do: you take your coworkers and you have a wrestle. Mm -hmm. Like that's just classic. Mm -hmm. Not a wrestling match, but just yeah. a wrestle. Yeah, a wrestle. <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? You would oh, know. Well, when you say a wrestle, it's mm -hmm. just even funnier. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like a wrestle. That's beautiful. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> it's hard to tell. Um, okay, so now this is what I was shocked to hear: that you ha you you love love donuts. Yeah, I mean, I you know, you'd think that you are so uh, concerned about everything you eat and work out <laughs> and healthy and, and you obsess on... Well, I love donuts. I got a big sweet tooth. So, uh -huh. you know, I've always said, like, not only is life too short, but you can't cheat yourself. You got to treat yourself. So, right. big uh, donut fan. Okay, I've said that too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to blindfold you. And uh, we're, what's your favorite kind of donut? Glaze. Glaze, and what's the, the, br the brand? Who makes them? Oh, Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts is your favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play, is this your donut? And I'm gonna blindfold you right now. Okay. All right, hold on. And then we're gonna walk <laughs> over there. And, um, oh, My head's really big. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on over. All right. <laughs> One more, and one, right. more. one more. One more. One more. Got it. All right, we're gonna start, oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, Alan, good. <laughs> I get you all the way down. <laughs> all right, we're gonna start with one right here that I am going to put in your hand. Okay. And you're gonna, um, you're gonna see if you get this one right and tell us which, which one this one is. <laughs> What's everybody laughing? What am I eating? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's mm -hmm. that? It's not Dunkin' Donuts. No, what is it? It might be Krispy Kreme. You're right. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. All right, I'm just gonna cleanse your palate with something right now. Mm, I'm good. All right. All right, step down. <laughs> step down? <laughs> yes, oh, I'm over, I'm sorry. Um, All right. All right. I'm gonna hold this so you have no idea instead of, all right. You gonna feed it to me? Yeah. Okay. What's that? That's not Dunkin' Donuts. No, what is it? It might be from a box, like, like a hostess or, so, or something. But I know it's Yeah, it's not a Dunkin Twinkie. Donuts. You're right. You're right. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Can I... I'm going to cleanse your palate again. Good, good. This is like nine and a half weeks right now. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock and Allen, yeah. <laughs> Step down. Over, over. Over, okay. All right, we're going to give you one more. Ready? Uh -huh. Let me see what that is. What's that one? Do you know? I think it's Dunkin' Donuts. You're right! Yeah. And now, because you've done it, you just won a prize for everybody in the audience. Everybody in the audience is getting run down.
the tabloid newspaper, Weekly World News, or just something that my writers made up. If you think it's from the paper, you'll say news. If you think it's something we made up, you'll say not. It sounds easy, but is it? Okay. <laughs> Please stand up. What is your name? My name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Will Hi. you hold this for yep, me? Sarah, where do you live? I live in Victorville, California. Uh-huh. And what do you do there? I am a party host at John's Incredible Pizza. Party host? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What a great job. It is. It's really, really fun. You just host parties for yeah, a living? Yeah, we host parties and we book parties. It's really what fun. What a great thing. It's so much fun. This is what we do every day. Yeah. We host parties every single day. Yes. Yeah. We got to get pizza here. Yeah. That's what we need. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, do you read the weekly world news? No. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, well, I'm telling you, it's difficult. All right. All right. Um, let's go. Uh, woman 79 dies in meatloaf explosion. Not. No, that's the news. <laughs> um, <laughs> We'll start reading it now. Um, <laughs> Moses is still alive and living on a kibbutz in Israel. Not. Not. Uh, <laughs> IRS, uh, all right. IRS seeks back taxes from Shirley MacLaine's past lives. Uh, not. Not. All right. New hope for the bald beard transplants. Uh, news. That's right. <laughs> man, man thinks he's made of. Man thinks he's made of glass. Uh, news. That's right. Come on up. <laughs> Star. Star? Yes. Oh, that's a nice yeah. name. Thanks. Star. And Star, where do you live? I live in San Diego. Uh-huh. And what do you, do you know them? Um, no. No? Not yet. You got to get her a shirt. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> they live. Y'all should get together. <laughs> she can host a party for you all. <laughs> all right. Uh, and, and what do you do? I'm a social worker for people with developmental disabilities. Oh, well, good for you. Yeah. That's great. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks. Thanks all for right. having me. Uh, my pleasure. <laughs> um, all right. Do you read the work Weekly World News? I don't. No. Well, you will. <laughs> um, all right. Here we go. Exclusive interview with Bigfoot. Why he loves Twinkies and fears Halle Berry. Not. Nah. Uh, that's news. <laughs> um, butter is brain food. Not. Right. Uh, scientists determine... Not. Uh, uh. Scientists... <laughs> Determine that one beer a day keeps the doctor away. News. No. <laughs> if only. Talk show, talk show host Ellen DeGeneres wants to join Russian space program. News. No. <laughs> Tourist grows feathers after contracting bird flu. Not. No. It's news. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe it? It's, it's crazy. And again, you've got Jennifer Two at the Palm and the Palm Restaurant Cookbook. Thanks nice meeting you, Star. You are so tan right now. I am. I've just. I. Oh my God. I really am. Yeah. Well, I, especially <laughs> next to me, I look like a. Look at. I'm frightening looking. I look like a ghost. I've just come back from a week's vacation, spring break with my children and my husband in Mexico. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. And you have this vision of of a vacation with your family that's going to be just wonderful and beautiful, and you're going to have a blast. You know, our family together. We're going to swim together. We're uh -huh. going to, you know, go on the beach. And you know, I would say. Not even six hours into it, I was screaming at someone. Really? Not, you put that down, stop touching that. You know, the steward said, put your seatbelt on, put your seatbelt, you know, screaming already. Put so your seatbelt on at the beach? <laughs> You're so overprotective. <laughs> yeah, I don't want anything to um, <laughs> Now, did you take pictures? No, I never take pictures. That's what somebody told me. Yeah, I, you yeah. didn't take pictures at all? Not the, one picture of the vacation. It's all a mental. When, when you go, here. um... Look, I'm just going to take a picture of you today because, um, there. I don't know if that was my best song. No, I'm just going to. Then you'll have a memory of this. you all later. And you're, not, you're not supposed to shake it like a Polaroid picture anymore, no. is that true? No, you're not Wasn't supposed Polaroid to shake it like a... About yeah, that, Polaroid got mad. That you're not um, supposed to shake it like that. Look Just what we did for you. Me. Because oh. we thought maybe that you'd want to um, see what it's like to go on vacation and have pictures. Oh. There you are, Mount yes, Rushmore right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
<laughs> I love that I wear the same thing because then it's yeah. easy to pack. Yeah, you, it's, yeah, it's easy packing. Lady Liberty yeah. there. Oh, Sash. look at uh -huh. And look pretty. at you there. Oh, the, is that Macy's, the Macy's Day, Day Parade? Parade? Yes, I remember that. One uh -huh. of the balloons got out of control. It was, oh. There you are on the beach. There I am. You can say that. <laughs> and there I you are my in Paris. Oh, uh -huh. remember when. Look how tall you are there in Italy. <laughs> yeah. I'm a giant. Wow, it's, oh, like, it's like you're making you. it lean. These are um, <laughs> These will be for you to take home with you. You're so, so kind. So you're, so you're screaming it, because you have three boys. Well, I have three boys, and one of the reasons I don't take pictures is, you know how you're, the child, the last child's always yelling that there's no pictures of them, so basically, I, I, was I, didn't, the last yeah, child. I didn't take yes. pictures of anyone. He can't, cut, you know. There's not a picture of anyone, so oh, well, that up. is at least better. Yeah. Because I have, uh, there are no pictures of me at all. My brother, there are statues of okay. him. <laughs> that, uh, there's like... Busts. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and nothing of me at all. Yeah. I know, so that's, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, we and, had a wonderful time. Yeah, well, well, good. You look, uh, you look really tan and relaxed for somebody who was screaming the whole time. Yeah, I was yelling a lot. Actually. The tan covers the uh, the exhaustion. Yeah. I think. My my agent once told me that there would the picture of me that if there were ever to be you know a sc scandalous picture would be me with my finger in my child's face right. yelling at them. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of people would have that picture. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> screaming at their child. Uh, we have to take a break. We'll okay. be back right after this. I, and we were just talking about, uh, I actually uh, bought a house that she and her husband built. built. It's, it's a really, really great house. And Thank her you. kids grew up in that yard playing in that huge yeah. oak oh, tree. Oh, that gorgeous and, oak tree. Yeah. It, beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, so, and so three boys. Uh, three boys and uh, a lot of chaos, a lot of bodily function discussion. I have to tell you, we had... <laughs> On our vacation, Hugh Jackman, who is a, a, a tall drink of water, is how we describe him, just a very lovely man, was there with his son and his wife, Deb. And he was leaving for the day to go to the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. I know that you were there. Yeah, I was there I this weekend. I believe you won. I, yes, I won Which for Nemo. Very... Yeah. I love the kids. <laughs> My children heard he was going. They said, well, you have to win the burp contest. And he said, a burp contest, what's, what's that? I said, and my, and my children then proceeded for an hour to teach him what mixture of Coca-Cola plus 7-Up could you do to, to have the biggest burp at, for the burp contest. And he ended up winning. <laughs> really, did he? He ended up winning. It's a great honor. That's excellent. It's a great honor. And he ended up thanking my children for helping him, you know, helping him along. I watched, I couldn't hear because the kids were screaming so much, but I did see a lot of, uh, a lot of that going on. There was a contest <laughs> between a lot of I'm celebrities. I'm surprised you didn't join in. Yeah, that's not really me. It's not up your alley? No. 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 Mine it's, either, actually. Yeah. But when you have three boys, you learn a lot about Yeah, that well, kind of and stuff. that's great that they could help him win. Yes, they did. All right.